Hi guys, welcome back. This is Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. So much new news going on for our channel. For those of you who have been here since last December, thank you for sticking with me. And for those of you who are new, I am so grateful to have you as part of our love tribe. Um, if you're new to my channel, I am a little bit different when it comes to readings, guys. I am a... I am a Twin Flame Channeler and a Starseed. I am here to help you with the Ascension process. Um, I know a lot of us are looking for, you know, what are my finances, you know, those kind of readers are out there and I have many of them that I turn to. Rich Lop is one of them. He is such a great reader and, and you know, I've watched him grow. I'm so proud. I sound like a mother, I know, because he's young and I'm old, you know, and we become friends, and I'm just so proud of him. He has gone from just 3D reading into the spiritual transformation. So if you guys want um, the, more of a 3D reading, get it from Rich while you can, because I think he's ascending to one of the masters that's going to be, I think he's a star seed too. So anyhow... Let's just get into this. I wanted to tell you about the contest. There is a video. I don't want to um, recap everything here, but go watch the video on my contest. I am uploading these 12 zodiacs. I just did Cancer, and now I'm working on Leo. And uh, so what we're going to do is I need you to, uh, first of all, you got to be subscribed, okay? like the video and comment in the comment section down below what is your favorite type of reading do you like pick a piles do you like romance do you like twin flame do you like um spiritual uh you know my next step that kind of thing let me know in the comments below as soon as you comment i am taking and writing down every name of every person who comments underneath the 12 zodiac signs not the old ones guys these ones, these ones that are being uploaded right now for the lunar eclipse and cancer. That is how you get entered in to get a free reading with me. Okay, so I'm going to bring you down to your reading. Please don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, the wiggly bell. And if you'd like a personal private reading, all of that is listed below. And we have hit over a thousand viewers and I just got my email back two days it took to be approved to become a partner with YouTube. I am so freaking excited. Thank you for being a part of that. So let's bring you down to this full moon lunar eclipse in Cancer. This is the format I am using, okay? This is the energy you are currently in. This is the energy that you are walking away from or, or have been in or been working on, okay? This is what is for your highest and best. This is the grounding energy. How are you integrating your energies to make a firm foundation? And this is what do you need to focus on from this day forward on this ascension path, okay? Over on this side are advice cards. They're uh, oracle cards for advice from spirit um, on, on your journey. And over here are your spirit guide messages directly from your spirit guides for you. Okay, so let's take a look at where you are currently. First of all, um, I've got the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's something that you guys have been juggling some of you, I'm getting a definite message that you're people pleasers. It's like you've got to put on this, this show. You know, look at me. I'm the jester. I'm the juggler. I'm, I, let me entertain you, right? Spirit's definitely working on some of you Leos um, about how to know your value, have healthy boundaries, and stop trying to please all of the people all of the time because you can't do it. Okay, so for some of you, that's a definite message. For others of you, there's just energies that you've been juggling and trying to integrate, and you're st you still got your grubby hands on them, right? You still you got them in your hands, and you're not um, you're not yet on firm in a firm place on what to do with it. Okay, so let's take a look at what spirit has to say. 
wow, you know, Cancer had a 10 for their current energy too. A lot of us are ending cycles. So a 10 is the end. It's the end. And this guy knows it's the end. You know, all of his burdens, he's decided to let them go. He's sowing new seeds. If you look, he's got a, a shovel in his hand. He's got seeds in his hand. And he's basically become enlightened. Look at that swirl above his head. You know, he's become enlightened that all of these things that he planted and nurtured and tended to, they they didn't serve him. Or maybe they did. Actually, I'm hearing. Spirit's correcting me. They absolutely served you. They absolutely served you. However, some of these are not going to serve you in the future. So it's time for you to plant a new seed. It's harvest time, right? Harvest time. Take what you need and um, leave the rest. Put down the burdens. You now know what what stays, what goes, and you are sowing seeds for the future. Okay, so where did you come from? Oh, I like this, but I don't know how to read this. Give me just a moment. I'm hearing that a lot of you guys had very, very heavy masculine energies, okay? In the past, you might have been stubborn. You know, you are a Leo, right? Um, fire. But this is the emperor. And I feel like what Spirit's saying is what you're leaving behind is this, this um, feeling like there's no room for growth. Like you've already made it to the top of the food chain. You're the lion, right? You've made it to the top of the food chain. And so some of you guys have really strong egos, really strong egos. But I think what you're leaving behind is the distorted ego so that you can move in. You know, it's divine masculine energy. We have divine masculine, divine feminine that are balancing out, you know, their their inner masculine feminine energies and I feel like for a lot of you watching whether you're male or female it doesn't matter it's an energy but a lot of you guys have been very set in your ways very set in your ways you have a belief system that you have have stood by uh, almost to a fault and spirit is now challenging those belief systems okay so let's take a look at what is for your highest and best uh yeah codependence um addictions all of these things you got to break these chains you got to break the chains so your highest and best um is telling you that this kind of energy is what you it's kind of where you've been you know I, I don't know why it's not here but it's it's above you it's over it's it's almost like something's hanging over your head and here you've got Divine Masculine, you've got Divine Feminine. If you guys are on a twin flame journey, because you do have the Emperor here, um, I and this is the Lovers, you know, in the Devil card, it's always the Lovers. Um, but it looks like she has actually freed herself. She has found the the end of the rainbow. She's found the, the Enlightenment, the Code. She's freed herself of the chains it binds she's no longer chained to her masculine she has found freedom he however might still be struggling remember that it's not gender specific it's an energy the masculine energy is is very strong ego energy in its distorted um form so what I'm seeing is for your highest and best, you need to find your rainbow. You need to clean up your act. You need to, you know, take better care of your body. Take better care of all of your earthly endeavors. Don't do you any good if you aren't in a state of bliss. Are you the monkey? Are you the, the hamster on the wheel? Are you still chained and bound to old belief systems around prosperity? around how we function in this this um, matrix you know so for your highest and best you need to find where do you need to release and it looks like it's a it's an ego it's it's distorted ego for some of you for others of you if you you know you can take this as masculine fem we all have masculine and feminine within us 
Okay, so for some of you, you need to look at your addictions. It can be anything from shopping online, sh um, shopping period. It could be food. It could be unhealthy eating habits. It can be um, too much television, too much uh, YouTube for that matter, too many readings, right? I've gotten, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there, guys. Trust me. Where you become codependent even on um, the messages that are meant to free you. So that for your highest and best, you need to take a long look at what is holding you bound to the material world in this emperor energy, okay? Everybody's got emperor and empress energy, but it's got to be balanced. I haven't seen the empress yet, except for possibly in this, the, the girl on the rainbow. So let's take a look at what your roots are. What are you rooting in during this eclipse? Lack mentality. See, that goes hand in hand with that materialism. Okay, because we were programmed by religions, programmed by governments, programmed by television. Pro that could go on. How many programs we got running in the background, right? We have been programmed to believe that we are not worthy unless we earn it. That's lack mentality, you know. I can't afford it. I can't have that. I've never been able to. I don't know how. I That happens for other people. It doesn't happen for me. Lack mentality. So you need to ground yourself in the new knowledge that, that anything you want to create is already existing. It's already been created by somebody else. There's nothing new under the sun. And you can reach into that consciousness, that collective consciousness, and create from the law of attraction anything you want. Once you get out, this is where you've been grounded. You've been anchored. You've been stuck. You've been chained to uh, money, a uh, lack mentality, feeling like your um, abundance is just bypassing you. Uh, or maybe, here's another thought, maybe you've found your abundance. Maybe you've grounded this lack mentality. You have, you know, that might be a firm foundation. I've got money handled. I've got plenty of money. That's not where I'm struggling. I'm struggling with it controlling my life, with it being in control of every other aspect of my life, right? Emperor energy, distorted masculine. So what is, what are you supposed to do from this day forward. It's harvest season. I keep hearing this, guys. I channeled that in the channeled message. Go watch that. It's very important that you watch that. You don't have to. That's why I put it in a separate video because some people just don't dig that stuff. But I'm telling you, it will show you so much more of what this portal is all about and why we are here. It's harvest time. You have invested, you have planted seeds, or if you didn't plant them, there are seed sowers that are here volunteering to plant seeds for the collective. Whatever it is, it's harvest time. And Spirit's saying from this day forward, you're going to reap what you have sown. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I'm hearing it, guys. But you're going to have to let go of a lot of your 3D money obsessions whether it's lack of or abundance of you're going to have to balance your beliefs around money i'm seeing that with this too balancing your belief system around money and everybody's is going to be different right there's going to be some very successful people watching this video saying i don't have any problem with money but spirit's saying you know, anything that, that, that you are too focused on or not focused enough on is out of balance. This eclipse season is about balancing. We are clearing old karma and bringing in new dharma. That's what I, it, the cancer signs was all about, you know. All right, so let's take a look at your advice. Yeah, relationships. Yep, because there's the lovers. There's the emperor. For some of you, this is the whole twin flame or soulmate. It doesn't have to be a twin. You know, you don't have to label it anything. Whatever it is, another person that you have feelings for has triggered you on this journey. So this is all about relationships. It says, relationships are just mirror images of your own life. How you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. 
Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. I'm so hearing some of you are twin flames. They're your mirror. Okay, and it's not easy. I'm here to tell you I'm not in union with my masculine either. It's not easy. It's work, <laughs> but it's such good work. It's so profound. It's so worthy, right? So take a look at your relationships and look at she's holding in her hand a lotus flower that is and it's like um doves are flying out of it you know there's a little sprinkle of doves coming out and this is you know masculine and feminine energies here so this is all about being activated by your mirror image whether that's a twin or a soulmate or just whatever you have a contract with another soul that has agreed to be part of your awakening experience okay so remember that they are mirroring back to you your brokenness and every time you're triggered by their bad behavior you need to say thank you for the trigger and then you need to go deep down into your shadow side and say what is the lesson what's the lesson what's the lesson why why him why her why now why what's the why right what needs to heal what needs to be let go of what needs to come into balance then we have music and harmony. So I'm hearing for some of you guys, um, if you're on the twin flame journey, your masculine or feminine uh, communicates through the 5D means of their higher selves, bring songs and music and lyrics to you as ways of letting you know that they are still with you even though they can't show up in the physical. For others of you, these are gifts and talents that you have that you're going to be implementing in the future to bring in balance and harmony in your life, you know. We don't want to work for the man. We want to do what we are gifted with. We want to use our gifts, our our abilities to manifest the coin, right? Then we have reevaluate your priorities. Yes, because I'm hearing distorted ego. Whether you're masculine or feminine, you are sitting, you are coming out of a very strong, distorted masculine energy. And, and you're going to have to balance the feminine and masculine energies. You're going to have to bring your life into harmony, your relationships into harmony. You're going, there are going to be people and situations that you have to let go of, okay? You got to let go. We are sowing new seeds. And look at in the future, there are those seeds that you planted, and it's harvest time. Harvest time, right? I feel like it's it's centered around self-worth. You know, some of you have an overinflated ego because you are monoly, monoly, I can't even say it, monetarily blessed, right? Maybe you're really good at manifesting money, but you're pretty crappy at holding together a family life or a relationship. Right? It's going to be different for everybody. Take it the way it resonates for you. Okay, But you planted those seeds. You're going to have to reevaluate your priorities to find your balance, your harmony. Your ego needs to be unchained from lower vibrational belief systems around your value, your worth. Okay, I'm not enough. Wherever, fill in the blank. Where do you not feel enough? Maybe you feel fat. Maybe you feel thin. Maybe you feel tall. You feel short. You're too this. You're too that. That's distorted masculine energy. Okay, so let's take a look at what spirit guides are helping you and how. Okay, so from your spirit guides, we have trust the niggle. I love this card. It comes up so often. It's going to be one of my new tattoos, I think. Trust the niggle. This new platform, this new energetic platform that we are creating in the higher vibrational realms, we do not navigate by thought alone. We are mastering masculine, feminine energies. The feminine energy is your instincts. It's your intuition. It's the inner knowing. It's the divine feminine. So we've got divine feminine energy with the distorted masculine energy. So you need to balance out your masculine, feminine energies and start trusting your intuition because that's how we're going to navigate in this new experience that we are creating. 
You can't just cerebrally think about things. You have to tap into your inner knowing because it's going to be brand new unchartered territory. You can't rely on past experience to get you through it. You're going to have to trust the niggle, right? What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Spirit's just really trying to show you how to navigate this new experience by trusting because nobody knows no, it's never been done, guys. It's never been done, ever. We are creating an entire new Gaia, a higher vibrational experience for all of those who want to be on board. Go watch the channeled message, okay? So who are you dealing with in spirit to help you on this journey? And we have White Eagle, Ancestor Spirit. Connect now to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. So if you want the healing, this is the time to do it. We are clearing ancestor patterning, especially if you resonate with the twin flame journey. This is what it's all about. We are, we are collapsing old timelines and creating higher vibrational new ones. It's harvest time. We've planted seeds or some of us are just now planting. Others of us are harvesting. So talk to your ancestors and ask them for guidance. Ask them to connect you with the, with the lineage of your family so that you can heal this lack mentality, this five of pentacles energy. Perhaps you come from a long line of ancestors that believed that they were better than everyone else. Or the flip of that, they weren't good enough for anything. It was always somebody else's turn to be prosperous, right? It, it's going to be different for each of you. So I love you guys. Please, please check out the contest video because I am having a contest. I promised when I hit a thousand viewers I would pick. I I don't know how many I'm going to pick. I, I said I'd pick 10, but, you know, that's a lot of readings. I'm going to let Spirit guide me on how many. But I'm going to pick several people that comment you have to comment beneath one of these new zodiac readings for the eclipse in cancer in order to be entered into the contest you have to you have to be subscribed you have to hit the like button and you have to comment what kind of videos do you like best because my content is is of course i'm on mission i'm not going to change my mission work for anybody but i also want it to be entertaining and uplifting and i want you guys to get from it what you need to get from it so comment in the comment section below what you would like to see uh me upload for you know love romance twin flame pick a pile ascension path you know maybe you like them all but comment in the bottom you know if you if you like them all just say you're doing great just the way you are whatever you want to write that's the only way to get entered into the contest okay i love you guys love and light and thank you thank you thank you if you are not subscribed please if you've been led to my video and it resonates with you in any way shape or form please hit the subscribe button because that does help the video to get picked up by YouTube's algorithms and place it out into um, referrals, you know, recommending, you know, those recommended videos that pop up on your screen. I don't know about you, but that's how I navigate YouTube. I don't always search. I just, you know, if spirit leads me to a video, I click on it and I have really learned a lot in this last year. So if you want these kind of videos to be recommended to you in your newsfeed and recommended to others, then you need to be on board with the subs and the thumbs up and the comments, okay? Also, because I am now partnering with YouTube, there will be ads on my videos. Okay, it is a return on my investment. I put a lot of time and energy into bringing these messages to the collective and I don't charge anything for it, nothing. So in order for me to be able to have time and energy to create more videos in the future for you, those ads are important. Let them roll. Let them, I don't even know, I mean, I haven't put them on yet, but um, I don't even know if I put them on or if YouTube does. But when the ads show up, the best way you can ever help out 
your favorite readers is by letting that shit roll. Okay, I know we all, I do it too. I know we all like to hit that skip the ad thing, you know. But if you watch that ad to the end, you are supporting your reader in ways that perhaps you can't through donations or any other means. You know, maybe you can't afford to donate or you can't afford to, um, whatever. It's the, it's the best way to help them out, guys. They get paid, we get paid for the ads. So, this is all free content. You know, if you're grateful for it, let that shit roll. Okay, I love you. And I will see you the next time I am called to the table. And I really hope that this eclipse is easy on you guys. It looks like you're on a twin flame journey. And if you're not, then you're definitely been activated by somebody else. You know, there's somebody that has activated you. All right, love and light, guys. See you next time.